No more sweaty money. That's what many businesses are saying after some customers try to pay with damp cash. News Channel 5's Kimberly Davis takes a look at the soggy situation and what some local business owners have to say about it. Some stores are seeing an increase in what they're calling sweaty money. And when you go to make your purchase, some businesses aren't accepting the cash. Well, I've taken money pulled out of their socks and out of their underwear and they wore else. But some stores in Kentucky and even all the way to Las Vegas are saying no to the sweaty money, even putting up signs, turning customers away. Some local business owners tell us if it's green, they'll take it. I'm a cash business, so unfortunately I have to take it sometimes unwillingly, but I still accept it, though. And there are ways around the soggy cash. You might rinse it out, you know, you take it under the sink or your kitchen sink and just kind of wrinkle it up because generally it might be sweaty or not and just kind of after you rinse it off, just dry it on the counter and it won't generally take too long. Other store employees tell us they wish they could institute the no sweaty money policy because accepting the cash sometimes hurts their business. Somebody, okay, take that money from their socks and give it to you and they say, oh, it's all right, you know, nothing happened. But the other customer who watch me take the money from these people, he's going to say, oh, how are we going to touch my food? Or he's going to touch, you know, my stuff because I just got that money from somebody's socks. Now, those business owners tell us they're not too fond of the sweaty cash, but they don't plan on putting up signs anytime soon. For now in Nashville, I'm Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5.